Hello students, my name is Sumit Mehta. So in today's lecture, we will discuss about composition of functions and invertible functions. Okay, so now I am telling you that let f be a function from a to b and g be a function from b to c. B2 functions. Okay, then the composition of function f and g denoted by g o f is defined as g o f a to c okay let's say these are two sets this is set a and this is set b a function is defined between a to b here is x and this is you can say fx okay so this is function a and set a and b and there is another set c okay and the function is defined from b to g from fx to g of x so this is g okay and g of f is defined from a to c clearly so this is g o f okay students and this is also written as g f x so this is called as composition of functions okay now let me tell you student what are invertible functions invertible functions okay so a function is said to be a function f x to y it is defined is said to be invertible if there exists a function g from y to x such that g o f is i x and f of g is i y and the function g is called inverse of then the function g is called inverse of f and is denoted by f inverse okay so student and where i is you can say identity set or you can say identity matrix okay so this value is one let me uh, we will discuss some questions based on composition of functions and invertible functions in next lecture so stay tuned for this lecture student okay so that will be very um, that will make the concepts clear to you guys okay okay for students so stay tuned for next lecture on questions based on invertible and composition of functions thank you happy learning